Growing up, I was shy, misunderstood, and overly emotional. As an adult, I am shy, misunderstood, and overly <laughs> emotional. As scared as I get about things now, when I was younger, I was always afraid. I was afraid to be too little, I was afraid I'd be too much, I was afraid that I would shatter at the slightest touch. I was afraid of growing older, I was afraid someday I'd see a desiccated shell that didn't feel all like me. It turns out that my shell was more of a shield, isolating me from what was really going on. I thought then that there was something I want, something to live by, something sturdier than a bell. Holy crap, that's what I lack. I need to find the right shell. I didn't know where to look. So I did what any hormonal 13-year-old boy would do to try and solve his problems. I waited till my parents were in bed. I turned down the lights and I closed my eyes as I reached to grab for it. I yanked it hard and my heart started racing and then the lights flashed on but I was so close that I couldn't yeah, stop. So, I grabbed the first thing I could out of the fridge and ran upstairs. Turns out that my midnight snack led to a discovery of sorts. A shell. That guided me through my teenage years and tried to protect me as I started to get these uncontrollable urges to talk and not talk to certain boys. It was then when I started to get really neurotic and lonely. Average height, brown eyes slightly disproportionate. Brown curly hair, kind of, now 20 years old, now 20 years old. Slightly fat, occasionally employed, actor, singer, and virginal Jew. Currently living with roommates, still in school, still in school, still in school. And I have emotional problems, <laughs> neurotic and lonely, lonely. Maybe I was just a bit too fragile. So to try and put my pieces back together, I started creating, creating, and talk about creating. Now I'm so busy blurring edges that there's no time to live a life the art is imitating. I needed help. Now sitting in the back of Amy Dugas Brown's class at the start of senior year, she started off by saying, You've come a long way. You've been through a lot. It's now time to bounce. Then Amy would say, you're hot, then you're not. You better learn to bounce. If something goes wrong, that's all right. Bounce along, just travel light. I go off the track, don't look back. That's the thing that counts. Don't dwell on the times that you fail. Remember the times when you sail. Find a new road, forge a new trail. Don't dwell on the times that you fail. Find a new road, forge a new trail. Remember to bow.